Hey, how are you doing? This is Mutia Evans here. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful afternoon. It's on 21st of May. This is on a, is it Thursday? Yeah, Thursday, Thursday. Okay, enough of that. My name is Mutia Evans. Be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. Today, Jalango has um, penned an apology in two parts. It was so lengthy that he had to do it in two parts on Instagram. And I'm going to take you through that. And it's a good thing. I, I of course, expected Jalas to do this, being the, the good guy I believe he is. Well, I'm not supporting Jalas for what he and the boys club are, uh, are said to be doing. And I'm also not supporting the, the guy exposing everyone else out, out here. I mean, every every single man out here has their own flaws. And um, they have a right to, to, to keep their matters private. So uh, Edgar, I don't think he's doing the right thing exposing. And I think he has something for Jalas in particular. Yeah, for Jalas. I think, yeah, there is something between these two gentlemen and uh, it, it's it's not going to end well but for now Jalas has penned uh, a very emotional apology to all the Kenyans I hope KOT will hear him out and maybe forgive him and you'll get his businesses back because as he says he has lost a lot of businesses because of that uh, uh, expose okay good and he was doing really well before this as you can see is a is a new um youtube channel was gaining traction getting a lot of subscribers every week every day and uh, he was headed to to the big numbers but it's not all lost let's see what he had to say and so he did these two uh parts i read them for you and here it starts. The past two days have been very rough for me and my close friends because of the chats from our WhatsApp group. Yes, we agree that it was our group and it's a group that has been there for so many years. And through the group, we've achieved a lot in developing ourselves and in different fields, more so investment, which was the sole reason for the group. The boys are not just friends, but people we grew up with from childhood. Went to, uh, to school together and achieved a lot together. On the charts we've seen, no one will tell you the genesis of the charts or the previous charts, but they picked what they wanted you to see. We've been judged, abused, and crucified and told that we formed a group, a boys group, just to have our pleasures. We'll not defend ourselves. But this was just another random boys chat in our WhatsApp group. The difference between us and you is that your chats haven't leaked out. But I can assure you that in most WhatsApp group, chats about men, women, money can never miss. That's true, Jalas. People have blown this out of proportion and I can assure you, we are totally broken. I have had people call me to encourage me and the boys and others calling to just condemn us. We have taken this as a lesson. There is a lot of malice and hate around it, but we can't go there now. What really happened and or what's the truth? When COVID happened, most of my friends closed office, closed offices and re uh, requested them to come help me build my YouTube channel. We, t we took one of our apartments and turned, uh, turned into a fully-fledged studio. And that's where we have been shooting. Occasionally, we go to... Uh, occasionally, we go to where our guest is or hire a place to work depending on guest request. Mm -hmm. We are always done by 2 or 3 p.m. We are always done uh, by 3 p.m., 2 or 3 p.m. So we sit back and just relax, have a boy's uh, time and chat. Few friends have joined us too. We went, uh, we went, uh, uh, we went. I uh, created one of the biggest. We went ahead and created one of the biggest online platforms, and we already had clients buying space for marketing and advertising, and we were already on a roll, gaining up to 10 subs, 10k subscribers per week. Rarely did anyone sleep 
at the apartment unless we had an overnight shoot or editing going on. We, uh, the lies are too many that we ourselves are reading these things on the blogs and just wondering whom they are talking about. That's part one of um, the last um, apology. Let's go through part two. The lies are too many that we, we ourselves are reading these things on the blogs and just wondering whom they are talking about. Number one, have not been sent to any compulsory leave. My two weeks annual leave began last week and I'll be back on radio in two weeks. Number two, there are videos going around. I can assure none of them is us. Number three, that was created, that we created a group to share women amongst us. That's a lie. That day we were having a random boys chat and that's how the, the photos you see came up. It is very evident that the blogger has a lot against me. He started last year when he said he paid girls, we paid girls to come to our event. That story died when one of the girls dismissed him. He then again struck in December last year when I requested him to, uh, him, when I questioned him, he blocked me and claimed that I wanted to kill him. He has since blocked me and continues to publish my stories all the time. My friend sent me screenshots from his chat. He refers to me as that married man he doesn't like. This year, he tried to write another story from Alex's birthday party. But since he had nothing to write, he let the story die. On my birthday, he, created, he threatened to block anyone who posted me on their timeline. And now even without asking our side, he has gone ahead and had a, a field day. He is happy because he gets what he wants, clout, nothing else. What does it benefit you when you do all this? The damage you've caused us can never be repaired, Edgar. And I assure you that why it that I was a bad person, this would not have ended well. We will not sue or try to follow on anything. And we will just set this pass. We we'll just let this pass. But you've broken families. We've lost businesses and top uh, clients who have pulled out on us. It is okay. And we understand that. No one would want to be around us now. We thank, we thank clients and friends who have stood by us by seeking to know the truth first. The truth will set us free someday. For now, all we have to do is try and put our heads up above this storm hoping it will soon pass moving forward we've learned a lot from this we accept our mistakes and ask for forgiveness to anyone we offended we ask for your prayers and guidance meanwhile the show goes on god bless you as you can see that was two hours ago it's very recent and um, what do i think about this i think it was the good, a good thing to do, it was the right step to take uh, for Jalas to admit that there was a mistake. And uh, I know Kenyans, they will of course forgive him. However, for the blogger making the life of Jalas really hard, I, I pity him because he is fighting a losing uh, battle. But uh, that's all I can say for now. I believe such kind of things happen to so many groups. Or in many, so many groups. If you go to so many uh, groups of men and women, uh, the, the, the top talks are money, sex, women, my, men, all that. Even for women, they talk about men. And they share stories, they share uh, pictures, they do this and that. So it's, it's, it's common. It's, it's usual. I mean, when men come together, the first thing that gets to their mind is women and when women come together the first thing that gets into their mind is men so they they talk about it so it's no different unless they were uh, of course doing uh, what the the blogger purports they were doing but i i believe that that was not the case because we've not seen those girls come out and confirm the allegations so it means that wasn't true, or at least for now, it's not true until we get those girls come out and confirm. There you have it from the last.